Hi, welcome to Linda's Take. Today we are going to look at how you could create a brochure using Microsoft Office templates. To start with, we need to open up Word. We're going to go to the new, then we're going to come down here to where it says search for online templates and type in brochure. There are many different brochures you can use or choose from. Some of them are easy to manipulate than others. Brochures are templates that are already set up in columns and tables. So sometimes it's not real easy to manipulate the information. So you might have to play around with the different templates, find one that you like, that you can change, that you can manipulate how you like it to look. I'm going to come up here to the school brochure. This is one that I like because it's fairly simple to add pictures and information to it. First thing I'm going to do after I open up my template is go to File and do a Save As. I'm going to hit Browse so I can tell the computer exactly where I want to save it. I'm going to go to Documents and I come down to Linda's Take. I'm going to call this Brochure 2 and say Save. So now I have my template. It's saved and I'm ready to change it to put information, my own information in here. This template is fairly easy to put your own information in. You need to remember with templates, it already has built-in places for your information. So if you're not going to use something, for instance, if I didn't want to put a headline or story in this particular area, I need to make sure I delete it. Okay. Over here on the brochure title, I'm going to enter the title of my brochure. You can see my text isn't showing up. So I need to triple click to select that paragraph that I just entered. Then I'm going to come over here on my floating toolbar to my font color and select the font color. So I have to go in and change it. My text was there. I just need to make it change the color so you could see it. I don't need a subtitle, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to delete it. Company logo. You can either delete it or maybe I want to add a different picture. I can right click on that picture and then select change picture. Let's look from stock images. So I can find a picture that I like and click insert, but you can see it made it really small. Here's where you have to be careful when you're using templates. If I was to just make this larger, watch what happens to my template everything moves around. So I've messed up my pick, my template. Instead of being two pages, it's now three and everything's all messed up. So I'm going to click my undo button and take it back to the smaller size. Now I can stretch it if I want to, to fit the space. But remember when you resize using the sizing handles in the center or in the middle, you are going to be changing the shape of your picture. So now I'm going to come over here. I can put information in the headline story one. As you're typing in your text, make sure that you double check the spelling and double check the grammar. For instance, here I have blue under sausage. Probably wants me to add a comma after sausage. And it doesn't like this first mm, but that's how I want to leave that, so I'm not going to mess with that. So now I can go to the next area, put my next headline in, put my information. When I'm ready to put another picture in here, I'm going to right click on the picture and come up to change picture. Let's choose a stock image like this guy with this cat. And you can see that this picture, this image is not going to take up my entire space. So again, I could stretch it, but that's really going to make the guy look weird. Or I can click, double click underneath it and you can see my insertion point comes down here. Now I can come up to insert and I can add another picture with this baboon in here. Now if I want to move this baboon picture around, I'm going to click on the layout options, change it to square, and now I can move that picture around. 
Don't forget, if you've been asked to format your pictures, come up here to your picture format, and you have these options that you can choose from, or you have this picture effects right here, and you can come here and you can make some changes. I want to put a glow around it, but you can't see the glow because this is in columns. So I can make this picture a little bit smaller, and now I see the glow all the way around it. So play around with your pictures, with your text. If you wanted to enter in text in here, you still can go back. Make sure you put your information in the other areas. On the second page, come in, and you've got more information, where you, more areas where you can add information, more headlines, more graphics that you can change. This is just a really fun and simple brochure to mess around with, to add the pictures to. Have fun creating your own brochure. Thank you for joining me today with Linda's Take. If you liked what you've seen so far, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when I have new videos coming out. Have a great evening.